At the stroke of midnight, on the 15th of August 1947, India woke not just to life and freedom, but equally to the challenges of building a future as a young, newly independent country. It was a time in history that gave fresh urgency to Swami Vivekananda's words, uttered long before independence. It is man making education all round that we want. In 1953, that vision of Swami Vivekananda took shape in the form of a unique institution in Mysore, South India, Sri Ramakrishna Vidyashala. Sri Ramakrishna Vidyashala is today a 69-acre green oasis in the heart of Mysore city. Within its gates is an environment where the physical, mental and spiritual faculties of each student may reach their full potential. It was the revered Swami Sham Bhavanandji, then president of the Ramakrishna Ashram Mysore, who played the key role in establishing and bringing into reality the Vidya Shala as it is today. Sham Bhavanandji was one of the most dynamic Swamiji's I have come across in my life. Swami Shambhuanji was a very great builder. Acknowledged as one of India's best equipped residential schools, the Vidya Shala has an enviable history, molding boys into men of character through a unique blend of academic standards and an exceptional value system that has stood the test of time. It is not surprising that over the years, the Vidya Shala has drawn the attention and accolades of a spectrum of thought leaders, with no less than Jawaharlal Nehru inaugurating the school's swimming pool as early as 1957. But the pool itself is dwarfed by its surroundings. Today, there is a veritable treasure house of facilities available to the students. It is not just the established infrastructure here, but more importantly, the education for life that defines the Vidya Shala experience. From swimming to typing, sports to computer education, yoga to tissue culture, music, art, hobby classes, and the newly instituted Nisarga Niketana or outdoor nature school, where natural settings add interest and immediacy to the learning process. Vidya Shala pattern of education makes the students rooted in the Indian culture. They get scientifically oriented. They develop leadership quality. I had the opportunity to stay in this institution along with the boys for nearly 20 years. I feel just as the boys were learning, 
I too learnt a lot in this institution. Complementing this are the dedicated monks and teachers who create and maintain a culture of hard work and discipline ingrained in the school's day-to-day -day activities. The students participate in the daily functioning of the school with as many as 17 departments headed by student secretaries and volunteers. In fact, one day every year, the entire school is managed by the students, including the day's regular classroom teaching. The Vidya Shalabai does not pounce upon opportunities just to rise up the ladder of success. But once the opportunity comes his way, his involvement is total, works to the satisfaction of everyone around. As for academics, the excellent results over the years speak for themselves. Especially when seen in the context of the school's student profile, where 32% are drawn from the economically backward sections and 40% from rural and semi-urban middle class families. The experience of the old teachers and the enthusiasm of young teachers will have to take this institution forward for the next 50 years. From the teacher's point of view, the Vidyashala presents an ideal situation. It not only offers us the joys of teaching, but also presents every genuinely interested teacher the challenges of learning. The institution has given me that courage, that knowledge, and it is a pleasure especially to work with these students. Swami Vivekananda believed that service to the poor should be an integral part of any education. Realizing this need of the country today, the Vidya Shala has integrated the ideal of service through special programs called Friends of the Poor and Narayana Seva into the regular co-curricular calendar. Students volunteer their services at nearby slums, learning to serve the less privileged. They get critical exposure to the extent of poverty around and get trained to reach out to the poor as part of their education. Yes, spirituality is the bedrock of this multifaceted institution. While prayer and meditation are an integral part of the Vidya Shala routine. Students also participate in a unique retreat program where the main emphasis is on silence, reflection and study of cultural, spiritual and historical issues. The Vidya Shala has taught me many things, uh, most important of them being uh, upholding time and a general sense of discipline how to handle, juggle many things at one time. I've learned different values from different people. So perhaps I, I can almost bet that I can handle any person. I want my son to go back to this institution. This unique educational experiment of blending tradition with talent and ancient wisdom with modern advancement has earned the Vidya Shala the recognition of a model institution. Yes, I mean, being a Vidya Shala boy, it's a great uh, responsibility also. The society in general looks upon us as being, uh, being brought up uh, in a very ideal uh, format, in an ideal situation. So they expect a lot uh, on, uh, from us. It is the mental strength that I have gained from Sri Ramakrishna Vidya Shala helped me to achieve goals in my life. Uh, the values that were taught, uttered and practiced uh, I think uh, they have contributed a great deal uh, to my uh, personal outlook uh, towards the society. Rare is a school that has, for 50 years, stood out as an effective workshop of integrated education. Nurturing 
and refining emotions. Channelizing energies. Chiseling attitudes. Tapping innate talents. Expanding intellectual horizons. And above all, teaching to serve and pray. Here is an institution that fulfills the dream. Ah!